Hello my loves, it is the start of a new week and it's actually a public holiday today. I feel like we've been having a lot of public holidays but it's alright, it's fun, I'm not mad about it. It means that everyone is home today, no one's actually home right now, I don't know where everyone is but I had, what did I do? I woke up, I slept in a little bit and kind of was rushing too much to make it to the 6am gym class I decided to like take my time a little bit longer walk down to the beach watch the sunrise because sunrise was at like 6 15 this morning so it was perfect timing so watched that on the hill it was stunning and then went to the 7am gym class instead which was good I'll show you the day it's absolutely beautiful this is the weather we have today sublime it's absolutely perfect not too cold definitely not too hot it's definitely cooling down now but I didn't vlog oh, sorry the lighting I didn't vlog last week at all so we've had a week break but I am a bit behind on editing as per usual when am I not so you probably won't even notice but essentially last week I had a few epiphanies I've had a few epiphanies over the weekend I know I keep saying I'm having a lot of epiphanies but there's just lots of learning and growing and my mind's changing I'm evolving I'm breaking down a lot of like the concept of self my ego like so much work is being done so I can't wait to fill you in on that because I think I've come to the to a conclusion but as I'm seeing with hindsight I kind of land on one thing and then I go for it and then that doesn't work out and I then see why it didn't work out because I had further thoughts after and sort of decided to go down a different path or whatever but none of it's probably making sense to you right now I want to explain a bit more later have a bit of a DM, but Let's make some breakfast. Good morning. I'm in the same spot. It's another day. It is Tuesday morning. Went to the gym, had a shower and washed my hair. It was looking very rainy today, so I didn't do a walk. I have been trying to do gym and walk every day because why the heck not? I love both. I want to do both. It's good for you. But I'm still undecided on my routine if I want to gym and then walk straight away because sometimes I get so hungry that I'm like angry and I just want to eat. And then I like rush through my walk because I'm like just thinking about my breakfast and my coffee. <laughs> So sometimes I like to break it up and have my walk at the end of the day is like wind down Which is what I'll do today because I didn't do it just then But I needed to wash my hair so that was good Yesterday there was nothing fun to vlog because I sat at my laptop all day and edited both of my America vlogs So just getting back on track, getting back on top of it That's literally all I did yesterday I want to talk to you about what the heck I'm doing in life But this morning I think I definitely just want to make some brekkies 8.30 And I have a call with my mentor Em at 10.30 so I'm hoping I can make breakfast and have time to get some groceries because I was planning on doing that yesterday but because the public holiday everything was closed. Okay my loves, now is the time to chat, to debrief, to update. I hope you can take me seriously with this towel on my head. Basically I have not been out to do groceries yet. I kind of just got stuck into doing a few things that were on my mind and then I thought I'll just wait until 10.30 until my call with my mentor. I wanted to update you because it's not going ahead anymore and it kind of leads on to like the whole topic of change and being okay with change and pivot, pivoting and <laughs> pivot. That literally reminds me of that TikTok sound that's like, I have purse, be okay with pivot. Oh my god, how funny. Anyway, because yeah, essentially you guys know I've been working with a business slash mindset mentor for, it would be coming up to six months, so probably at the five month mark because I did it in like three month sort of contracts. Like I did three months with her and then I re-signed for another three. However, May is supposed to be the last month. But at the end of April, when I came back from America, I kind of said to her in the call that I had straight after our holiday, I sort of said I have been thinking a lot about my future and what I want and I don't think it's going to be 100% focused on my business anymore. I think I want to go back to, you know, working like a quote unquote normal job to, like per se or working for someone else or just doing something that isn't 100% focused just on 
an online business by myself full time because it wasn't really fulfilling me as much as I thought it would. So I kind of voiced that with her and said I wouldn't re-sign um, but I'll just like see out the rest of this contract because it is a contract that you sign and I was on a payment plan so I obviously wanted to make sure I didn't like, you know, break any agreements or anything like that. However, this month I'm like, wow, I really have no real use of this space anymore in terms of voice messaging her and being on our calls. I was kind of like, oh, I don't really have anything to ask or to talk about in terms of business or mindset right now like i feel like the the mindset stuff i'm navigating is really something i need to navigate on my own because at the end of the day it comes down to what i want in life and what's going to make me happy and i think i need to be careful of how many external opinions i ask for in such a uncertain time i guess for myself when i'm not even sure what i want which i guess would be some advice for you guys as well if you are feeling unclear or unsure or unfulfilled maybe you're not super happy try not to ask too many people for their opinions on what they think you should do because it honestly will probably leave you more confused and you'll end up doing something because it sounds good because someone else has said it and then you will kind of lose that inner knowing that you have of what truly makes you happy when you just think about yourself which at the end of the day, I love this little meme that's been going around. I've seen it online a couple of times. That's like, it's in quotation marks. Like, what do you mean the world doesn't revolve around me? As far as I'm concerned, it does. Or something like that. Or maybe it says, what do you mean the world doesn't revolve around me? It's literally my life or something like that. And it's funny because growing up, my mum used to say that to me to get me to not be so selfish or to be considerate of others or whatever in terms of like the world doesn't revolve around you to think about others and put others before yourself in certain situations which like I totally get growing up you need to learn not to be selfish all the time however when it comes to making decisions for your own life and your own happiness the world absolutely does revolve around you because it's your world and it's your life if that makes sense so that's a beautiful little piece of wisdom but essentially I just wanted to come on and discuss change and discuss pivoting and just I guess, yeah, talk about the fact that so basically what happened is M just actually messaged who's my mentor and she said hey um I'm just going to send a voicey soon about like ending our container contract sort of thing. And I was like, wow, that's perfect because I was umming and ahhing all day yesterday. Do I ask to cancel early? Do I just push through and like do the calls and pay the last month even though I don't really feel like I need it or like it's, you know, a good financial investment as well because I am not earning as much money while I'm in this like limbo period of not being sure of what I want to do um and yeah it's just worked out perfectly that she's also said you know I think it's time to sort of end it which is great like very, very much on the same page but yeah just in terms of pivoting and changing like you she was really good because when I told her she was like oh you do not need to over explain yourself you do not need to justify anything I think that's another thing that like when we get scared of change we worry about what other people are going to think of course which is something I'm realizing I think the more you heal and the more you grow and evolve the more you realize how much you still do care about what other people think it's a weird thing where like you think you get over it in some areas of your life or you do get over it in some areas of your life. There are some areas of your life where you used to care about what other people would think of how you styled your hair, like when you went to high school or, you know, what sport you chose at school or whatever it might be. And since you've got nervous stuff, smaller things like that, you think, oh yeah, I don't care about what people think, I'm sure of myself. And then you come faced with bigger problems or bigger change or bigger decisions as you become an adult and things and you realize that you still do care what other people think and I think that's natural like we all do because we're all human and I think we often forget that people are not thinking about you as much as you're thinking about yourself and vice versa which is why no one is actually caring about what you're doing or what you're thinking or what you're wearing or anything but we think they are because we're so absorbed with ourselves. if that makes sense. I've come to realize that amongst this whole sort of uncertainty around what I want to do, whether I want to travel the world or, you know, park my business where it is and 
go maybe change industries completely or just go and work for someone for a bit or do freelance stuff again i am realizing that there is a part of me that does care what other people think and there's a part of that that is worried about judgment of you know being perceived as failing or going backwards or you know pivoting or giving up early or you know something like that there's so many thoughts running through my head and i guess i just want to share because <laughs> because i'm definitely not through it and i think there is a time and place where like you should sort of work through it on your own and um then share afterwards on the internet because the internet can be an interesting place but i don't know i've always felt like youtube is a safe space where like we can have these chats and hopefully it will help you as well seeing me you know potentially you assume like she's got it all figured out and then when you hear this you're like oh no she's actually still just a 22 year old girl who does not have it any more figured out than the next person and yeah i think what i'm coming to is that i just want to enjoy being a 22 year old and not have the stress and financial responsibility of making it work and running my own business anywho that is where i'm gonna leave it for now like i said still figuring it all out i have been applying for some jobs but i think i will tell you a bit more about that later so it's not like a huge sit down chit chat and you don't get bored i'll probably do the groceries now or do some work first and then do the groceries a bit later that's that oh my gosh guys exciting news just as i was getting in the car after i got the groceries i got a call from one of the cafes that i sent my resume to which is so exciting because it's actually one that wasn't even advertising or hiring or anything it's just one that i used to go to a lot and it's still like close to where i live and i still go there sometimes and i just thought you know what out of all the places here i would love to work there it's kind of got a similar vibe similar nature to it to my old barista job like my first and only one back in brisbane which was near my mum's house when i lived there that one was just like a hole in the wall like takeaway only kind of vibe and it was really busy and i loved that and this is kind of the same vibe i'm so excited so i have a trial shift on friday today's only tuesday so it's a little while away but the hr manager called me and that was the only day that the cafe manager was going to be working so that i can meet her and see what the go is see if she likes me hopefully she does but i'm just so relieved and so excited i've got a bit more of a pep in my step now because before i went to do groceries i was like scrolling on seek and indeed and all those places just like in a few different industries, but mainly hospitality and then kind of events management and marketing and stuff. But all the marketing jobs I looked at and I was like, no, I just know that's not what I want to do anymore. Like I've done that and I just miss like the personable, fun, like interaction that comes with hospitality, which is crazy because some people hate hospitality and would rather like a desk job. But I don't know, for me in a desk job or an office job or like when you're in a team, it's like you see the same people every single day and it doesn't feel that different whereas in hospital like you see all different people and you still have the same team and you can like make friends with them but then i don't know it's just always different time passes so quickly and you're having fun there's music playing and it's also just this is gonna sound like maybe lazy i'm not sure but like you don't have to use your brain which i love like in marketing obviously you're like or any kind of office corporate job like you're working towards kpis or you've got to work with budget or you've got to like hit some targets or like be it innovative do something like that and i'm like nah i want to save that energy for my content creation for my social media for my stuff and then i just want to have a fun job that pays the bills and then i can have fun money on the side to live my life as a 22 year old that's what i've decided and also this is me just like updating you even further because I need to. Um, I landed on like going back to barista life slash hospo because I thought about it more and I was like, that actually makes the most sense for my short term goals, which is live life, have fun as a 22 year old, have some stable work, but also my long term goals of owning my own coffee shops and venues. I'm like, well, yes, I'm in the early stages where I don't want to do that now. One, because I don't have the cash to like lease a property, renovate a cafe, like all those things, but also I don't want to have that intense responsibility right now so young like i want to live a little have more experience before i jump into something like that where it's like managing a team and managing a commercial property and stuff 
but how am I going to gain that experience, you know? Oh my god, my phone's ringing. Hello, Ellie speaking. My services have oh. been activated successfully and 99. It's a scam call. The phone number literally looked almost the same as the other one that just called me, so I was sure that that was the chick, but it wasn't. In conclusion, it actually makes the most sense for my short-term goals and my long-term goals because I'm thinking, I actually asked her on the phone too because they weren't advertising for a job. She was like gauging how many hours I wanted and like what, what the vibe was, what my current life situation is. Do I have any limited availability or days I can't work? And obviously I'm free as a bird, which is good. But yeah, I wasn't sure like what they have the capacity for because they weren't actually advertising. And I asked her if there was opportunity for career progression because I'd love to take on more responsibility. I feel like, you know, I have been a barista before and I would love to, I don't know, with my age, my wisdom now of working in different jobs for a few years, I'd love to take on more responsibility and like manage a team, be a supervisor and like work, just work my way up, you know, in general, in life um, for so many reasons to obviously learn all different facets of hospitality, to learn how to manage a team, how to supervise, how to be a good team leader and I don't know I feel like I have good leadership skills but I just need to learn how to do that in like a hospitality setting because obviously I'll need to know that when I own my own venues and I'd love to potentially then that will lead me to like events management maybe down the track as well for more experience but a lot of the events management jobs that I saw online at the moment you need food and beverage experience or like your RSA and like bartending experience or like you know, supervisor experience. So we've got to start somewhere guys. And this is my advice to you as well. Like don't be afraid of being a beginner again. Don't be afraid of starting at like the bottom of the food chain again, or like regressing to progress, like take one step back to, to take two steps forward kind of vibe. Cause she did, she answered my question. She said, yeah, there's absolutely like opportunity when looking for a supervisor. So if you, you know, demonstrate those skills, the opportunity could be there. So I'm so happy now. I feel like, I really needed that because I haven't heard back from literally any of the things I had applied for yet, except for that one. So, yay. Let me show you what I got. I got two PR packages and also heaps of groceries. So let's quickly run through it. Once again, you can't see my head and the bench at the same time because I'm so tall, but we shall power on. Paper towel, I got. I had to get heaps of boring stuff because we just seem to run out of everything and I was the first one to go to the shops. So we have a little working list on our fridge. It's from Steph Pace Planners actually. It's really good. We all just write when we've run out of things. These dish wand heads, dishwashing liquid, laundry liquid, spray oil, bin bags, disinfectant wipes. And then this is my food, GF Bread. I'm shopping at Aldi now guys because we are savvy. I want to travel the world so we've got to save money on groceries. Perinades, that was from Woolies actually because they don't have that Aldi. Spring onions, raspberries, tomatoes, cucumber, Gonna make my go-to salmon pokey bowls, more tomatoes, red onion, blackberries, panadol. It's literally 80 cents at Aldi, so like why would you not get it from Aldi? The salted caramel protein yogurt at Aldi. Tried it last week. Slaps really good. I've been watching a lot of food taste tests on TikTok and I've been craving lollies, so I got the Oh, you know what I've been watching actually? It's those lolly salads where people come up and they go, hey I'm Ellie, and I brought the trolley night crawlers and they tip it in. So, just me, myself, and I, but I got those. Apples, potatoes for dinner. I'm gonna have like garlic herb. <gasps> That's what I forgot, garlic and herb chicken. I mean, I got, I got the chicken, but I don't think I got the garlic and herb seasoning. Anyway, chicken, potatoes, and veg. Some avos, some gum, frozen veg because I'm lazy. Paprika, chicken salt. Oh, I did get chicken salt and chili flakes. I just didn't know what we had at home. Salmon and chicken tenders from Alpha H while we're here. PR haul. Alpha H is a skincare I use, my ride or dives. And they have just launched a new hair care product, which is so exciting. It's a healthy scalp exfoliating treatment. Ooh, with Australian desert lime. I'm excited to try this. I did just wash my hair this morning, which was a bit silly. I kind of forgot that this was at the post office. And then the Golden Haze Face Oil, which apparently you can use on your scalp. Or, oh no, in the ends of your hair. That would make more sense. We've had some dramas tonight because Molly was sick. Turns out Sarah just fed her slightly questionable chicken for breakfast. It was probably not very good. Like not still eatable obviously because Molly's sicky. Oh, she's gonna vomit again. 
No, she's just having a look outside. <laughs> so Delan just did a bit of a mistake because we had to wash the covers. But I'm making my good old trusty salmon bowl. For my toppings, I'm doing cherry tomatoes, red onion, cucumber, spring onions. And then I also have sesame seeds. Here's the salmon in the air fryer. Ooh, perfect. I always do skin side up, like facing upwards first. And I only just flipped it on its side, but it's pretty much cooked. And then I'm just doing a brown rice and chia sachet because lazy girl things. And that is my go-to healthy dinner. Okay, now it's dessert time. This vlog has pretty much just been food and chats. We're making the mud cakes. Everyone's getting involved. <laughs> We're doing sticky date pudding flavor tonight. I tried salted caramel last night and it was really good. You have really whipped that out. Do you do it that much? Look at that texture. That's mm. good. I love that you still have Easter chocolate. Lol. <laughs> and then I'm going to add some Greek yogurt because I had it plain last night to try it for the first time but I need to use up my yogurt. So you need four scoops. And it has 10 grams of protein, less than 150 calories. No refined sugar. Wait, really? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> what, do, is that good or bad? I didn't Did even read. Oh, wow. Mm. I love that it has protein in it. Mm. It makes you feel better about having dessert mm. rather than just having, like you just have fruit for dessert, but I feel like even that extra bit of protein for the day, just really tea tie you over mm. your protein goals okay and also i'm gonna try it <gasps> give us your first impression oh my god your hair looks so dark on the camera like in a good way it looks like really jet jet brown is that a word yeah thoughts mm. do you feel like it's true to its flavor because i'm not a sticky date girl so i don't know what to expect. i love sticky date mm. yeah definitely on brand for the flavor mm. Ooh, all things considered. Oh, 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 that's how you do it. Look at that, guys. Mm, mm, mm. <gasps> that's mug cake porn Easter right bunny there. put to use. Right, enjoy. Bye. Also, they just went to bed, but I wanted to chat while I just posted a TikTok. My first time sort of sharing my thoughts about career, life, travel, not knowing what to do in my 20s. And everyone was so nice in the comments. I've received so many comments from like, old friends, people I used to work with, new friends, my current friends that already knew the situation, how I was feeling. And everyone's been so nice. I'm especially loving the comments from people that are in their 30s or later 20s telling me it's the right idea and that they're... sorry, it just cut out. Um but I'm just microwaving that for one minute. So quick and easy. Um this is not sponsored by the way. Obviously I have an affiliate code with Naked Harvest and I've been working with them for literally years and years and years but yeah anyway just genuinely trying the desserts because it's the newest product as I was saying yeah really appreciating the comments especially from like people later in their 20s that have sort of lived this part of their life and like loved how they did it or wish they didn't differently or whatever their advice is I I'm loving reading it all and it's feeling really good to start sharing I feel like there's a point where when you're going through something you don't want to share it too soon because I'm the kind of person who's already quite indecisive. Look at that. Oh my God, it's sliding. Yum. But yeah, I try not to invite too many opinions before I'm ready, if that makes sense. But I also obviously like to share very organically and authentically with you guys as I'm doing stuff. So it feels good now and it still feels very aligned with my purpose of like inspiring people to live a life that is truly theirs because that's kind of what I'm going through is like trying to overcome that fear of judgment from other people and remind myself that this is my life and it will always be my life and at the end of the day I just have to do what makes me happy in the moment because life is short you only get one life and yeah it's a beautiful thing so why not enjoy it instead of being stressed out all the time if this isn't a hot girl nightstand or i don't know why i said nightstand that was so american i don't know what it is i've got my english breakfast tea sometimes usually i have peppermint but i like to have a little milky drink with a little cake so that's what we've done my mug cake as prepared earlier gonna light my candle it does need a trim though it's getting all black and then or maybe I'll just do incense instead of the candle because I don't know where this is as well. And that's my vibe. I'm going to read my book, do my journaling. But let's give you a first impression of the sticky date. Mmm. Yum. 
yogurt definitely tangy but it does really balance it out mm, i was not expecting to like that as much as i do that is really nice i'm almost thinking i like this one better which is so weird because salted caramel is my favorite flavor of all time this one is this is how you heal it's such a beautiful book this is how much i've read so not much this is the front cover so like not much yet but so far i'm absolutely loving it it's honestly really serving me right now in this season of change and moving on and uncertainty and just being okay with all of that i could not recommend enough good morning I just got home from the gym molly's feeling better thank god oh my god she's cuddling my little teddy bear oh i kind of hurt my neck though at around at the end of the session which is really frustrating but anyway i need to have a shower and get myself ready for the day because i have my first live call for ea foundations the second cohort because it's currently running right now my executive assistant course so that's at 9 a.m and then i'm gonna go to a cafe which is like a little bit further away from my house but i'm doing like um a collab reel for them they've got a new strawberry matcha and it's just to promote their cafe and i'm super excited because i've never been i'm not really a matcha girl but strawberry matcha i'm open to because i feel like it'll be sweeter you know what i mean just can't get around how grassy green matcha is but i think strawberry would be nice mm. very non-aesthetic ready brekkie today because i kind of rushed it i want to refresh my memory of all the modules and where the girls are up to and their sort of story and their homework so that i'm ready for the live call hello hello hi michaela how are you hi addy that's okay no worries just finished the live call well i finished like an hour ago but it was really great i'm so happy with it I feel like the girls asked really good questions and i feel like they all got something out of it which is really really good that's obviously what i want and now i am filming a little reel it's gonna be like come on a cafe work date with me i feel like that's what i'm gonna put on the screen and it's that ad that i said i was filming with um a cafe and it's actually so fun we're having so much fun i'm like filming a couple of little clips of me like getting ready so it's like literally you're coming with me this is my outfit of the day i've got my cream adidas sambas favorite shoes ever Jeans from Princess Polly, so freaking comfortable, obsessed with them. A just a plain tank from Dish. This jacket is from Naked Vice. And so is my little bag. Clearly having a cream neutrals moment. When am I not, to be honest? Let's go get strawberry matcha. Hello, I'm home from the little cafe adventure. I did try strawberry matcha for the first time. It was not bad. I honestly think I just liked the strawberry milk part of it though. I don't know, matcha to me still tastes a bit grassy, but like, like I know it's green tea and I'm, I haven't really come around to green tea yet, but it was a good one for what I was expecting. And I actually met the owner of the cafe, which was really nice, really cool, because that's kind of been front of mind recently is like the whole concept of owning my own cafe, because as you know, I'm thinking about doing a barista job so that was great i um it was a bit of a drive from my house so it kind of took out a huge chunk of the day Good morning i did not go to the gym because my neck is very painful i have a meeting with my manager just in touch in an hour at 9 a.m then i have my brows appointment at 10 30 which i'm so happy about because i have not had them done since before we went to america and they are so unruly that is all then i want to edit some youtube today make some reels some tiktoks See where the ball takes me. Okay, hi. My meeting with Jacinta went a bit over and I lost track of the time that I was supposed to leave. So then ran a bit late to my brows. So we didn't do a before and after, but this is the after. They look quite scary because it's very shadowy in here, but they're perfect to be honest because they match my regrowth. <laughs> That's kind of a lol that I ask her to match it to my regrowth, but like, what can you do? I am at Pack Fair now in the car park. I need to get a black t shirt for work tomorrow. For work, lol, it's a job trial, but like, it's my manifesting language. It's my first shift. <laughs> I was just thinking on the drive here what to wear exactly because the HR manager said just wear like a black t shirt and shorts or whatever you feel comfortable in. That, were, that was her words. And at my old barista job, we used to literally just wear black t-shirts and black tights, like activewear tights. But I'm feeling like, because she said shorts, it's not that casual. Like, I definitely wouldn't wear activewear tights tomorrow. But, and I think, because it's like beachy, it's by the beach. She just kind of means casual, like denim shorts is the vibe I'm getting. Or like, I don't know, any shorts. But I just, 
I'm realizing I don't really own shorts besides like this one pair that I wear over my bikinis. So I'm more of a pants girl, so I think I'm either gonna wear these black linen pants that I'm wearing right now with a black t-shirt, but that might just look like death, like all black. It might look a bit aggressive because their uniform is actually like a beige t-shirt with like the cafe logo on it and then whatever shorts or pants you want. So maybe I'll wear jeans, which I know is like casual, but it is literally a cafe and she said you can wear shorts. So if you can wear shorts, you can definitely wear jeans in my eyes. Guys, I've got the answer, I think. I should work in a Poke Bowl shop. Look at that. Oh, Perronais. I forgot. Avo and Perronais. How could I forget? So, clearly it's lunchtime. I need to go back to my manager on a few things we discussed in our meeting this morning. Guys, oh my gosh, I feel so bad. I forgot to update you. So last night, I didn't vlog cooking dinner. I was just hanging out with everyone. Went to sleep. This morning, I went to my trial shift and I forgot to vlog it because I filmed a TikTok of like, get ready with me for my trial shift vibes. It's so hard to do both, honestly. I think every creator says that, but I'm home now and I got the job. Oh my God, I'm so excited. That's the paperwork to fill out like my tax and my super and everything, my bank details because I have a shift tomorrow morning. It's just a bit after 10 a.m. I'm gonna cook some Am I, or do I just wait for lunch? Cause I only had a protein yogurt for brekkie before I left. Cause I was like a little bit nervous and wasn't that hungry. And I started at seven. I need to go back and hand in this form because I said, it's all good. Like I live really close. I can just go home and fill it out and bring it back because I didn't have all those details on me on my phone right then. And then I'm back tomorrow. So the manager already gave me some shirts to wear the uniform, which is so exciting. I hate, when you're new and everyone can tell you're new because you're not wearing the uniform. So I'm excited that tomorrow I'll already have the uniform on. So that makes me feel good. I'm so excited. Oh my gosh. Let's eat and I'll tell you more about it. gosh guys I just spent so long <laughs> looking for my car in pack fair I have never done that before I usually park in the exact same section of the shopping center every single time sometimes I park in this section that I'm in now which is my like secondary it's my plan B section because pack fair like Pacific fair if you haven't been not from the Goldie it's like such a big shopping center there are so many car parks, so many different entry points, upstairs, downstairs, and there's like four different roads when you're actually driving to pack fair. So it kind of depends like which direction you're coming from. So like if I'm coming directly from home, I plan to like be on a certain road so I can get into my certain car park that I know. But I was coming from the other direction, so I chose my plan B. I don't know if I walked out a different exit or I don't know. My brain just fully switched off and I was just walking up and down, doing circles, being like, why can I not think? It was so weird. I'm feeling tired, I don't know why. So I grabbed a coffee. I literally sipped all of that just while I was walking around looking for my car. <laughs> and I got myself a little treat. I got a sushi roll and a nice latte because like I said, I had bacon and eggs at like brunch time. So that was somewhat of a success. All I bought was the biggest fucking paper bag you've ever seen in your life from Supre. I bought a pair of black jeans, which is actually a good investment because I don't own a single pair of black jeans. So that would just be great if they wash well. Cause God, how good is sushi? Another night, another mug cake. Divine with Greco getting berries. Also have my peppermint tea. I'm watching the footy. Good morning. Ready for work. And it's pissing down rain this morning. It's so gloomy. So I feel like 
work so we're not going to be very busy having a very toast and a chocolate protein shake just got home from my first shift oh my god i spilled the shot down the side of the coffee when i made it but got a coffee to take away they even have sugar-free syrups there which i didn't even know so that's a win and it was really fun i did 7 30 to 11 a.m but it was a saturday morning but it was raining it did not stop raining the whole time so i have my roster for like the next two weeks and i'm so excited the girls were really lovely too i really like them good morning it is sunday so it's mother's day today just making myself a coffee to take with me in my cute cup and I'm gonna write on this card <laughs> how cute it says do i wish you a happy mother's day you bet giraffe i do that's what i'm doing and then i'm gonna drive to brisbane that's where my mum and my sister live we're gonna have a little brunch together but i'm gonna end this vlog here which i always forget to do so i'm so proud of myself thank you for watching thank you for coming on this journey with me see you next week <laughs>